I mean, it is one of the biggest signs that finally the country is making a comeback from this pandemic. Huge day, big home opener for the D-backs right here. Already you've got a couple dozen fans ready to hit those gates. However, gates won't open, though, for at least um, about 5 o'clock, so less than an hour. First pitch, 640. And what's great is that ceremonial first pitch against the Cincinnati Reds. That will be by Dr. Kara Christ, as many of you know, who is the Arizona Director of Health Services here for our state. But you know what? Something really, really special that also will happen right before the game is this special tribute to all the frontline workers. We're talking the doctors, the nurses, the staff who truly pioneered through this pandemic. So should be very exciting tonight. And you know what? Almost 20,000 people will be packing this stadium and fans and workers cannot wait. Baseball is back. What does opening day mean to you? It should be a national holiday. <laughs> Everyone should have it off. We've all been pinned up for a year. It's, it's just good to get out. It's good to get back to, the, to normal. Opening day means the beginning of a brand new season. Every team starts at zero and any team can win the World Series in a year. Um, it's awesome. It means the start of spring. Thousands of antsy and excited fans ready to catch all the action up close and personal. And for workers like Frank Danzel, it's great to be back and see baseball in person again. What was last year like? Very boring, very dead. With no fans in the stands, baseball games weren't the same. What did you miss the most? Being around everybody, the, the guests, the workers, our workers, you know, all the front office. Last year, the D-backs lost a quarter of their workforce to furloughs or terminations because of COVID. But they also established a $1 million fund for game day staff to help pay their employees while baseball was postponed. We heard from a number of people who were obviously very appreciative. We actually heard from a number of people who said, I don't want to take that, give it to somebody else who needs it more. And it just shows you how special the, the people are that work here every day. Josh Rowich, who's the senior vice president of content and communications, says the tough times brought the organization closer than ever. You come to appreciate what you don't have when you don't have it. And now for Martin Reyes, who's the guest services supervisor. It's like Disneyland. <laughs> That's how it is. It's great to be back to see everybody here.